Welcome to the country, where we do country things, and on today's video, I'm going to take you guys over to the grit and gravel greenhouse. We're going to talk about the okra that we got going over there, show you how well it's doing, and uh, just show you a few things that I find interesting with it. So, just give me a minute to get over there, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so here's a couple of okra plants that I have growing in my double stack grow beds. And what I want to show you guys is how quickly these uh, okra form whenever the flowers open up. So the flowers on these okras are only open for a very short amount of time. Uh, I'm growing these okra inside of a greenhouse, so there's no pollinators in here. Uh, no bees or anything like that to pollinate these flowers. There's no wind moving around or anything like that to, to wind pollinate anything. And... Uh, these okra plants have been doing really good in my uh, aquaponic system. They've been really uh, productive and uh, working really uh, well inside the, uh, the aquaponics. They really seem to love the aquaponics and they, they do well in this Oklahoma heat. Uh, better than most anything that I've planted so far this year. Um, this is my first time planting okra and trying it in here. And they have really, uh, really produce really well and they're really growing through this heat which is uh really what i uh i was happy about is, is i'm gonna be able to produce this okra even in the in the oklahoma heat in the summertime which is uh a really a big thing whenever you're you're trying to figure out what grows well in, in, in your climate and in, in your particular situation so right now it is one o'clock in the afternoon and I have two flowers opened up and I wanted to do this when I had the when I was able to catch the flowers opening so I can show you guys just how quickly this happens um, and how how, uh, how efficient these uh, these okra plants are. So I have this flower here. I have a plant here in the middle and then I have this flower here on the end that's opened up as well and I'll show you guys that too. So we got this one right here. So what I'm going to do is just uh, leave these guys alone for now, come back this afternoon and show you uh, how they look in about six to eight hours or so from now. I'll show you guys exactly what's going on with these flowers. Um, one example that I didn't catch uh, that happened uh, yesterday in the afternoon and I wasn't, uh, I wasn't filming, I was just in here uh, harvesting, was this flower right here. So this flower was open yesterday afternoon and it's already closed up. I'm just going to leave that right there just to kind of uh, give you a sneak peek of what's going to happen with these two flowers this afternoon. So I'll be back this afternoon to, uh, to finish this up whenever these, uh, these flowers have a chance to do their thing. Okay guys, so it's now nine o'clock in the evening. I'm over here uh, just shutting up the greenhouse for the night. And I want to show you guys these okra flowers. 
and what they've done since one o'clock in the afternoon. So they have uh, closed up now, as you can see, and they're pretty much done. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is just take this flower and pull it loose from the uh, little okra and show you the okra developing behind it. And uh, just kind of give you an idea how these okra flowers actually work. So just real gently here. Oh, well, not very gently, it just fell off. So here is the okra flower. And here's where the uh, little okra was setting. And then the flower falls off and there is the brand new baby okra right there. Get the camera to focus here. And there you go. So that's how quickly uh, it happens for these okras from one o'clock in the afternoon till nine o'clock in the evening. Uh, these okra flowers have uh, done their thing, closed up. Uh, here's the one that we uh, looked at earlier, the middle one. And that, that one happened yesterday and it already pushed its flower off. So there's that one. And uh, here's the other one here that we looked at earlier. I just take my hand here real gently, give it a little tug, and there is my little okra right there. So we are almost into August now, and we've got pretty much everything uh, wrapped up here in the greenhouse, except for our okra here that's doing so well. Our uh, Malabar spinach, our red Malabar spinach, which is, uh, you can see, doing exceptionally well. Still getting uh, some greens off of this and putting that in salads and stuff. Uh, we fried up some okra tonight for our dinner. Uh, we have this Sassu spinach here, which is uh, a real nice green, a, a heat tolerant green that we've been putting in uh, some salads and stuff too. And then our one uh, zucchini plant here that is just massive, that has given us so many zucchinis. Um, start it right here and I'll show you. So here's the net pot that it's in. I've had to tie it up with a string, but you can see every, every place where it's given us a fruit all the way up the plant here. I picked uh, two of them off of it today and we still have another one in there. I'm gonna come around on this side and there's another one right there, another one right there. So still getting some fruits off of this thing. It's uh, it's doing really well in the, in the heat too. So not a lot going on right now. We're kind of going to transition out of this summertime phase. August is our slow month as far as our garden is concerned because it gets just gets so hot. And these water temperatures get really hot inside the greenhouse and it's kind of hard to grow. You can see here, I've uh, removed uh, all the determinant tomato plants and I'm going to come back with uh, some cucumbers uh, for the fall and try to get another harvest of cucumbers. I do have a, a cherry tomato here that's still hanging on. <clears throat> it's still giving me a, a lot of tomatoes. I'm just waiting on this, uh, this last little bit of uh, fruit here to ripen. I'm still getting a few blooms. Uh, they're kind of sitting a little bit. And then we'll be completely out of tomatoes probably in the next two or three weeks. perfect little cherries and then we'll uh, transition into our fall greens so I'll bring that to you guys whenever we get ready to, to transition into that stuff appreciate you guys watching and we'll be back